tutorial, I'm going to be giving you some tips for how you can present your final design. Now everybody's final design is going to be very different, so I can't tutor you specifically for your own idea. But what I can do is talk to you about some of the things I would do in terms of preparation for my design and how I might present it overall. So what I'm doing here is exploring with different materials. So if your final design, for example, is made up of a component of wood, it is a really good starting point to explore and experiment with rendering wood as a texture. Wood is going to look very different to fabric, uh, very different again to plastic or metallic surfaces. So have a go at creating a wood effect. It doesn't have to be in the form of your final design. Just play around with creating the grain like I have here with the different tones of the brown. And then I always add highlights. I think this really helps to make something look more 3D and pop out from the page. So I love using my white gel pen for this process. I'm now having to go at creating a metallic surface and with metal, especially any silver coloured metal, it's, although it looks like it's quite a complicated thing to do, it's really quite simple. I use variations of greys and whites, so this will have lots of major big parts that are highlighted white to show a shiny surface. And once again, I'm developing my techniques using watercolour pencil, so I find the colour quite easy to control if it's on with watercolour and then I just use the paintbrush to help me blend and once again you can see that I've used white gel pen and a black fine liner to highlight and create borders as well. Now this last example is showing how I might represent fabric. Now different fabrics are going to have different textures but the one I'm showing you here is a draped fabric with almost like a satin finish to it so again you're going to have lots of highlights, different variations of tone. Now, if you're designing something with fabric, it's important that you show the drape of the fabric, so the fold within the fabric like I'm doing here. But ultimately, it is a case of, of practice will make perfect, so I would definitely recommend you have a play around with experimenting with your chosen medium, your preferred way of working and adding colour. It absolutely makes sense for your final design to use your strongest strength. So. I actually think for me personally it's using acrylic paints, I find them easy to work with and to create depth and make a product look more 3D which is why I'm using it here on the fabric. So again lots of white for the highlight, showing variation of tone, you've got three very clear variations, you've got light, dark and medium and then lots of tone in between that as well. Another top tip is that I find, especially when you're working with materials that need to show a lot of white highlight working on coloured paper is a lot easier to show that white and to help it stand out even more. If you're working on plain paper it can be a little bit trickier to show that. So I preferred grey papers, sometimes even black papers as well. Once you've completed your final design you could then consider how you're going to present it. So for example are you going to have a title, include some typed annotation explaining it. You could perhaps even mount it like I've done with this piece here. So this has been mounted using mount card with an acetate covering in between to protect the painting. You should take pride in your work, so this is an opportunity for you to really showcase it. 